Okay guys, we are back into Saturday night and I am so excited because more and more and more people are starting to watch the show. That makes me so happy because I've been working on this for so long and all I really want is people to join me and enjoy having an awesome Saturday night snack and a movie. Back in the day, we used to be able to go out to the video stores and rent VHS and DVDs and Blu-rays and we can no longer do that. So I try my best to bring that experience to you in this show. Now, now, if you've been watching this show for a while, you know that I recently bought a house and I built my own home theater and my best version of a replica of a video rental store. Each week we look through all these videos, I put three of them up on YouTube in a poll and I let you guys choose what video we are going to watch the following Saturday. Once you've made that choice, I come up with a snack that is sort of related to the movie we are going to watch and then on Saturday night I show you how we're going to make that snack and what movie we are going to be watching. Tonight we are watching Paul Blart Mall Cop and making Sloppy Joes and Sweet Potato Fries. I'll tell you why in just a minute. But right now, if you guys have a Saturday Night Snack and a Movie t-shirt, it is time to do the magical spin. If you don't have one, you can go to my Teespring store and order one, and that way, every week, you can join me in doing this. Who's ready to cook? Okay guys, so tonight we are gonna make Sloppy Joes and sweet potato fries. Now some people, when I posted this, were asking, what does that have to do with Paul Blart? If you've never seen Paul Blart, there is a scene where he goes out to eat at American Joe's with a whole bunch of people from the mall. He doesn't mean to, but he ends up getting drunk and making a fool of himself. So the next day, he's really upset about it. And his mom offers to make him something really good for lunch the next day so that it'll make him feel better. And at first he declines, and then he says, I think I'm just gonna turn in. Uh how about something special for lunch tomorrow to cheer you up? If something's gonna work, it would be the Sloppy Joe, but that would uh, probably, you know. You know, if you're doing the Sloppy Joe, do the sweet potato fries, but it, it isn't whatever, you know, well done. I don't know why, I just have always thought that that scene was so absolutely hilarious, and I've always wanted to make Sloppy Joes and sweet potato fries when I watch Paul Blart. So that's exactly what we're gonna do tonight. So we got a whole bunch of stuff here, guys. I've never made sweet potato fries before, so I'm going off a recipe that I found online on a website called Cookie and Kate. And it's actually pretty simple. It says to use two to three pounds of sweet potatoes, so that's exactly what I have in this bag here. It also says we need cornstarch and olive oil and sea salt. Now I prefer the coarse sea salt, but they do have fine. And also if you want, you can use something like garlic powder and black pepper. And the process seems very simple. We're gonna get down to that in just a minute, but let's talk about these Sloppy Joes. Now I personally like Manwich. So I decided just to use Manwich tonight instead of going through an entire recipe of making my own sauce. And this one is the Manwich Thick and Chunky. I love this stuff. I got two cans of this and I got two and a quarter pounds of ground beef chuck. Now I also wanted to add some other things to it like a red pepper and some onion. So we're gonna dice these up and mix it in there as well. And for the buns that I'm gonna be using tonight, I bought the Sara Lee Artisano. I don't even know how the heck you say that. It's bakery bread. They're heavy. They feel nice and soft. I can't wait to sink my teeth into these things. All right, guys, we're gonna start with the Sloppy Joes. We're actually gonna use the crock pot again tonight. I really like the crock pot. We can make it, we can put it in there, plug it in, and let it warm up while we're working on the fries. We're gonna cook up that hamburger in just a minute, but the first thing we're gonna do is open our cans of Manwich and pour them in. The next thing we're gonna do is dice our pepper and our onion and mix those in there as well.
Okay, so those will bake for about 20 minutes. Then we'll take them out, flip them around, put them back in for another 20 minutes. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna give this another stir. Oh, that looks and smells so delicious. And when it's all done, just to make it a little bit more fun, I found these baskets at the $1.25 tree. $1.25 and we got four of them. But these we can prepare by just taking a piece of parchment paper. You can actually get liners for these baskets. They just didn't have any at the $1.25 tree. Set it right in there. And then you put your sandwich and your fries right in the basket. All right, well, there's our fries. Some of them have pretty much burned. Um, but for the most part, they look like they will be pretty dang good and crispy. Not those two right there. <laughs> okay, so the time has come. We got our fries done. Our sloppy joes are done here. Oh my gosh, look at that, guys. Mm, look at that. Dang. Let's <laughs> get a bun here. Put it in our handy dandy basket. Oh yeah, we got those chunks of onions and peppers in there. Green peppers go with Sloppy Joe's better, I think, but I like red peppers better than green. Oh yeah. All right, let's get some fries. Oh yeah, look at that, guys. Holy crap, does that look good. Sloppy Joe's and sweet potato fries. If I was sad, this would definitely cheer me up. All right, guys, that is it. I got my Sloppy Joe, my Sweet Potato Fries, Paul Blart Mall Cop on Blu-ray. I am going downstairs, get some pillows, some blankets, some pajamas, some tasty food, a drink, Paul Blart Mall Cop, and I'm gonna watch this movie and kick back. But before I do that, we gotta pick out our movies for next week. Okay, guys, it is that time again for us to look at all these videos and choose three videos that you guys will help me choose from for next week's Saturday Night Snack and a Movie. I am constantly out buying more and more movies, ordering them from Amazon and eBay, buying them from Goodwill and thrift stores. As you can see, I bought a whole bunch this week. So I'm gonna take a minute to set some of those up and then we're gonna take a look at these videos and choose three that you guys will choose from for next week's Saturday Night Snack and a Movie. I went through a lot of the videos that I just bought, not all of them, but I did replace a good handful of them down here so that we can take a look and see something a little bit different than we saw last week. And if you'll notice on the screen right here, I love to put on intros that you usually see in movie theaters. These are readily available on YouTube if you want to go on there and search for them and play them on your TV before you actually watch your movie. It just kind of adds to the whole environment of a good movie night. So I think let's go ahead and start over here again under Family Fun. I believe this is where we started last week and I didn't really change any of these out, but there are some that we didn't look at last week that I wanted to take a look at. I do not think that I have seen this one, Into the Woods. And this is one thing I love to do, is pick up movies that look good, but I have not seen them yet, because that kind of makes it even more like you're in a video store, because you're looking at movies that you don't know. So we can look at this and see who's in it. We got Meryl Streep, James Corden, Johnny Depp is even in this. It's a Disney movie. And then you just look on the back and you're like, oh, that looks really cool. <laughs> and it helps you to kind of decide whether you want to try out that movie or not. That one's not really striking my fancy this week so we're gonna put that one back but some people were saying that maybe we should have watched the lego batman movie and i honestly don't think i've seen this one either so i was thinking of putting that one in the run this week but we'll just keep it in mind for now because i have quite another idea here this one right here that a lot of other people also pointed out last week Groundhog Day. For anybody who doesn't know, Groundhog Day is actually coming up on February 2nd. Now that's a Thursday, so we would be watching this one after Thursday on Saturday, but still, this is a hilarious movie. And a lot of people said that I should have put it in the running last week, so let's go ahead and make that number one on our list. And let's keep on looking here at some of these other ones that I just bought. Now, I already had Batman Begins, but I found The Dark Knight. In fact, I accidentally bought three copies of The Dark Knight because I kept forgetting I bought it already. We also have The Dark Knight Rises. We got G.I. Joe Retaliation. We have Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter, which the funny thing about this one is I bought this on Amazon for like 15 bucks. And then the next day 
I found it at the dollar twenty-five tree for a buck twenty-five. We also have Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. I have not seen this one yet, but I've heard it is pretty dang good. However, it's probably not very family friendly. Although Pirates of the Caribbean is, and man, you gotta love Pirates of the Caribbean. Personally, the Black Pearl is my favorite, but this one is pretty good too. This is at World's End, and all of these have Johnny Depp, and you know how hilarious he is. Honestly, if we were gonna do a Pirates of the Caribbean, I would much rather it be Curse of the Black Pearl, but maybe we'll put that there and make it number two. I don't know, we'll set it there for in the running for the moment. And I put a bunch of new ones up over here as well. So as you can see, we have like Star Trek Into the Darkness. I honestly don't think I've seen that one yet either. Night at the Museum, Secret of the Tomb. I have seen the other two or is this number three or four? I don't even remember, but the other ones are hilarious. We've got Star Wars, The Force Awakens. I really liked this movie. I didn't care too much for the other stuff that came after it, but this one I really like. Of course, we also have Thor here, and that is another one that I have not seen. There's a lot of them here that I haven't seen yet, guys. We've got Big Hero 6 up here, Major League, Monsters University. Look at this. We've got the live-action version of Beauty and the Beast from Disney. I don't think I've seen this one yet. I've definitely seen the cartoon, but I don't think I've seen the live-action one yet. We've got Dr. Seuss Horton Hears a Who, Disney's Up, we got Schwarzenegger Commando, which is definitely not a family-friendly movie. <laughs> we got Weekend at Bernie's, which is hilarious. And I'm thinking we did this for a Saturday Night Snack and a movie a couple years ago, but I don't remember. So I definitely want to do this one again very soon. One of the funniest movies I've ever seen. We've also got Rocky Balboa, which I really wouldn't say is a family-friendly movie either. It's not really all that bad, but it's just not like a fun movie night movie. You know what, just to have something totally different in the mix, let's do Marley and Me for our third movie choice. Yeah, that way we have three that are like totally different types of movie. We have Groundhog Day, which I think would be the best one to do. Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End, and we have Marley and Me. So I'm gonna put this up tomorrow and you guys can vote on them and then I will let you know which one we're gonna watch next Saturday. All right, guys, that's it. I am going to get settled in here. Enjoy my Sloppy Joes and Sweet Potato Fries while I watch some Paul Blart, and I hope you guys are going to do the same. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you will join me every Saturday night for Saturday Night Snack and a Movie. Don't forget to vote on what movie we're going to watch next weekend. That poll will be up on YouTube later tonight or tomorrow.